Here's a picture of the intercooler from the front. And uh, then we can walk up here on the engine. You can kind of see where I've ran lines and stuff. I don't have any of the hose clamps or nothing on yet because I'm still testing and seeing where things should go. But uh, <clears throat> I cut this uh, diamond plate uh, and put over a bunch of old little holes. It's really lightweight and it just makes it look better to me. Uh, took the solenoid and all the uh, electricals and ran those out through the fender on the side over here and uh, right now I'm waiting for my 10 a.m. lines to run from the fuel cell up they're getting made now um, this is the uh, CNS carburetor that I've got for it it's a blow through and uh, I gave them all my specs they built it for me these are the uh, one of the turbos there's a feed line for the oil you can look down in here and then you can see uh, there's a return line running there just uh, I had it fired the other night sounded sweet I was just running it off a bottle running it right to the carburetor to fill it because I don't have the uh, aeromotive fuel pump hooked up the uh, <clears throat> I've got what I'm doing I'm running two pumps I'm running a holly blue for the road and uh, then the aeromotive 1000 uh, these are some uh, drawings of how it's progressed and you can see you got to have a plan when you start doing this stuff if you can visualize all the things that has to happen this is one of the fittings with a check valve so that when one pump is running it's not back feeding to the other pump 